Dash cam video shows the moments after Nadine Menendez hit and killed a man with her car in 2018. You can see Nadine there talking to police. She was later found not at fault in that crash, but is there a connection to her federal bribery case? Chief investigative reporter Jonathan Deanst live in the newsroom with new information coming in. John. Adam, after Nadine Menendez hit and killed a man damaging their Mercedes, the FBI says the senator and his then girlfriend needed a new car and, uh, and payments on a new Mercedes was one of the bribes given. As for the accident, an accident apparently kept quiet for years, questions now about how police and the Bergen County prosecutor handled that investigation. As Richard Koop was lying critically injured in the street, the family's lawyer says the driver, the soon-to-be wife of Senator Robert Menendez, sat in her car for several minutes before calling 911. 911, where's your emergency? Yes, hi. Some guy just jumped in front of my car on my windshield. Before that call, Nadine Menendez sat for three minutes before anyone is seen coming over to help. She let him lie on the ground, and she took some time to sit there watching before she backed up, moved her car again, and then drove around him. A witness nearby did call 911 and Bogota police soon arrived, and Coop would soon be pronounced dead. Police determined it was an accident, saying Coop had jaywalked after his night out drinking with friends. The attorney for Coop's family has a different view. He just had to cross the street to get to his home when the defendant came barreling down the street and struck him. Recordings from that night show Nadine Menendez telling police Coop darted in front of her car in the middle of East Main Street. Why was the guy in the middle of the Well, that's what, that's what we're trying to figure out. Senator Menendez on Capitol Hill today. Uh, that was a tragic accident, and um, uh, obviously uh, we think of the family. But questions remain about the police handling of the accident and why it's only coming to light now. The dash cam video appears to capture the voice of a retired police supervisor who arrived on scene to assist Mrs. Menendez, although it's unclear who called him to the scene. You're uh, retired, he said? Yeah. From where? Hacking, sir. News of this accident comes amid the sprawling bribery investigation into Senator Menendez, his wife, and three New Jersey businessmen. The FBI says one of the bribes was payments on a new Mercedes just after the damage done in the Bogota accident. Tell us about the Mercedes. Who paid for the Mercedes? Prosecutors say Jose Uribe helped provide the new car. They say it was in exchange for the senator pressing the state attorney general regarding a criminal investigation of concern to Uribe. All the defendants deny any wrongdoing. As for the accident, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office says its investigation team assisted after Bogota police determined there was no criminality. We are told the family of the victim did receive a settlement from the Menendez's insurance company, but the Coop family attorney says to this day the family has not heard from the senator or his wife about the loss they suffered. Gilma. Jonathan, thank you.